Hi guys, once again welcome to my channel Unigraphs the Learning Center. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about fundamentals of computer that is chapter 1 class 6. So, in this video, I'm going to discuss about what is computer, the history of computer, what is input device, what is output device, what is central processing unit or CPU, then your arithmetic and uh, logic unit, your control unit, all these things. So, still now, if you have not subscribed my channel, press the red button, hit the bell icon for regular update. So, let's start. Let's see our first topic. From our childhood, we have this understanding of what is computer, it is an electronic What is a computer? It is an electronic device. But isn't it limited to this? No! Computer is a huge thing. You cannot imagine. You cannot really imagine it. First of all, let me give an example. Suppose, if I give you uh, something, uh, some or within a minute hmm. you cannot do how much brilliant student it might be but still he or she required little bit time but computer doesn't require just put the value press the enter or equal sign you will get the result within instant that's the that's the power of computer yes that's the power of computer it reduces it reduces human um, human work seriously then uh, let's see um, uh, symptomatically or uh, um, uh, description of computer which will you have to write in your exam now that's why i have given a uh, simple uh, definition for it like computer is an electronic device which consists of hardware and software hardware components just like the physical part of the computer and software controls hardware and run the operating system we will come later than what is operating system, what is software, what is hardware, we will come with later. But just take in your mind that uh, hardware is the external part and uh, software is the internal part. Okay, we will discuss this later that what is software and what is hardware till now and what is operating system now. We will discuss it later but still now you just concentrate in uh, this uh, definition because you have to write then different programs and applications like Microsoft Word, Microsoft uh, Window, Microsoft Excel, etc. Okay. Let's see the overview on the history of computer. You know that when uh, does our first computer came? Yes.
what is input device. I have given here a short description about it. The device which are used to input the data and program in the computer are known as input device. Input unit accept instructions and data from the user and convert that instruction and data in computer acceptable format which is sent to computer system for processing. Now what happens? You understand what is input device like keyboard and mouse. Whatever we press from keyboard that that is given to the computer or stored in computer and after after that data is put inside the computer with the help of with the help of input unit with the help of this input unit they convert our our language into computer acceptable format okay so that computer can understand and after computer understand that is shown as our output because computer does not understand our language if we press A the they will not understand what is A so they convert that thing to their acceptable language and they understand that oh you want to say A ok let me display A then ok like some translator is there inside the computer that means ok so we will talk about that later that what is that translator translator called in our future uh, videos we will understand that but till now you understand this that computer does not understand our language so they convert our language to their language and shows the data in output field okay now let's see some example of input device pointing device you know arrow sign that's why uh, of the cursor that's why it is called pointing device okay the mouse is rolled over the mouse pad which in turn control the movement of the cursor in the screen next one is scanner scanner are used to enter information directly in the computer memory this device work like a xerox machine you know what is scanner we all know what is scanner so it is also an input device then is light pen this is an input device which is used to draw a line or figure on a computer screen so i would really like to recommend you to pause the video and take the screenshot of this because it's really very important okay now we will understand what is output unit output unit or output device produces the final result of the computer into human readable form as i only said and before that computer don't Monitor and printer. 
monitor is what the monitor look like a television screen it is also called visual display unit or vdu okay and it is used to display information from the computer you understand what is monitor if i write anything in ms word or ms excel a b c we see that you no know, monitor only then otherwise where will we see that that is called visual display unit its another name is visual display unit it's a common question okay the word is visual display unit or vdu okay so take a screenshot of this then next one is printer printer is used for transferring data from the computer to paper you know what is printer whatever you want to print screen now whenever we press the screen or whenever we touch the screen it is very sensitive it whatever key or whatever apps we touch or whatever button we touch okay so it responds so this is also an output device then is potter potter is very large in size and is used to produce graphical output on paper so you don't have to see what is potter and all but still you can we will now learn about storage unit what is storage unit i have given here the short definition for it but basically storage you can understand from the word storage means to store something and in computer what can we store we can store some data some instruction okay that we will give to computer it will store over there and basically storage unit is same that only okay so let's see the definition storage unit or the primary or main storage of a computer system is designed to provide space for storing data as i already said it is used to store data and instructions intermediate results and, uh, and for the final result okay so you get the basic idea of a storage unit it's nothing it just store the data we provide to it and after that with the help of secondary storage we can access that data all
about this uh, about this chapter